In this video, I'm going to talk about how many kilometers per day can you travel on a motorbike in Vietnam. Now, this is a topic of massive confusion, so I'm going to try and simplify it. Really, in Vietnam, as a tourist, you're doing between 150 and 200 kilometers a day. This is very normal. If you start pushing to 250k, then you're doing a lot more than the average person and really you're more of an experienced rider. But generally 150 to 200. It's so common for people to look at Google Maps, they put in Ho Chi Minh to Hanoi, it says 48 hours, and like, oh, that's a two day drive, I've got 15 days, no problem at all. That's just not the case. A normal journey between Ho Chi Minh and Hanoi for a tourist is 10 days driving all day, every day. That's if you're doing the good roads. Now there's no point coming here and driving up the highway. It's completely pointless. So from there, you can very easily sort of decode your holiday. If you have 11 days, that's 10 days of driving with one rest day, okay? Da Nang, a major city in the middle of Vietnam, is basically four to seven days drive from the two cities of Ho Chi Minh or Hanoi. So you've got four to seven days Ho Chi Minh to Da Nang, four to seven days Da Nang to Hanoi, put it all together and you got 10 days of real driving. The north above Hanoi is one week per section. You've got Ha Yang as a section, you've got northeast as a section and you've got northwest as a section. Most people just do Ha Yang. That's one week of driving, five days absolute minimum. Okay, so why is it that the kilometers are so short in Vietnam? Well, the reality is you're a tourist. You're coming here to enjoy the drive. So you're going along, you're taking pictures, you're drinking coffee, you're not familiar with the way the country works. So it takes you longer to order lunch. It takes you a while to check into hotels, to check out of hotels. Everything just takes longer. And that massively eats into your day. The second thing is that the roads are pretty twisty and turny in Vietnam and Google Maps doesn't account for it that well. These days, sophisticated tech on Google and it sort of takes the average speed and that's the number it will show you. But the Vietnamese, they are extremely consistent. They hit a pace, it's not fast, 40 to 50 K and they keep to it and they go all the way to their destination without stopping. You're stopping all of the time for uh, resting your ass if nothing else, right? The Vietnamese don't have to do that. So it's extremely hard to keep to what Google Maps is saying as a tourist. Okay, so if you're on a Honda Blade, the smallest bike we have, 150 to 200 kilometers is a very, very normal day. On an XR150, you can start moving to about 200K. And on a CB500, you can do 200 to 250, maybe even 300, but the key thing here is actually on a CB500, your day in terms of how far you drive should be similar to an XR. The main difference is that you might reach your destination a little bit earlier. You do need to be careful in this country because the roads are very slow, but also extremely chaotic and they require a lot of attention. So, okay, your average speed is faster, you reach your destination earlier, but your concentration needs to be that much higher. Just because you're reaching somewhere early doesn't mean you should drive off into the sunset when you're really physically and mentally drained. It's a big mistake of big bike riders. You really have to focus on a bike like that. Now in this country, the speed limits really are 50 to 60 kilometers an hour. It's extremely slow. And you'll notice in this country how bad the driving is. The driving is the worst in the world in this country. But the locals make it work by driving slowly. They go around on their phones, they're smoking cigarettes, they're not concentrating at all. But the key is they're not expecting fast moving traffic. So if you're going fast, you're the one making the mistake, not them. They will do U-turns in the road without looking. It's normal here. They're not expecting someone to come plowing down uh, on a CB500 at 100 kilometers an hour. They're just not expecting it, right? So you really have to get that into your head. And it takes years of experience driving in this country before you start to learn the angles and the systems and the processes of the way the river flows here on the roads. Now, it will look chaotic when you arrive here and you'll never figure it out because you're not here for long enough. But actually, behind the scenes, there is a system to the madness. There are angles that the locals take to join um, the roads, uh, body position. This is all stuff you learn over time, but you're not going to see it. So 
An expat who lives here will drive consistently faster than a tourist, even if their total bike hours is less and they're less experienced than a tourist, for example. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about in terms of how far can you drive. In reality, it's not about how fast you drive, it's not about how good a rider you are. More of it is about your preparation and your organization. Where most tourists lose all of their time is bad preparation and bad sort of itinerary planning. I have a whole video on this where your breakfast sort of rolls into your lunch, which rolls into your coffee break, which rolls into a mechanic shop, which now means you're suddenly driving at nighttime. There's no structure to your day. And that's normal because you're in a foreign country, as I said earlier, things don't always go to plan. Everything takes more time. You don't know how to load a map up on your phone. All these things, everything's new. How do you put your luggage on the bike? It all takes time, time, time. And your day quickly spirals out of control. So if you really want to sort of find a way to maximize your kilometers in a short space of time, my recommendation is to practice at home. How are you going to uh, pack your bags to go on a motorbike? Have you studied your map, the colors on your map? Are you using Maps Me? Um, this is all stuff I do on my enduro trips. I have the map all color coded and just like right in my mind. So when I'm zooming in, zooming out, and I've got big white gaps of space, I know where I am on the map. And so, so, so efficient at packing, packing and unpacking each day, which also leads into the topic of travelers always having too much stuff. I've got so many videos on this. Strip everything down, get everything simple, and then you don't need to drive fast because your itinerary of the day, your structure of the day is going to be on time. Um, without messing around with electronic devices and bags falling off your bike. Another big one, simple one to save time, is get a hydration backpack. We sell them for 12 bucks, yet no one's buying them. Then you don't have to stop all the time to drink water and you don't get heat dehydrated. Absolutely invaluable uh, piece of equipment to a motorbike journey. Okay, so in summary, the locals drive slowly but consistently. They just plod their way along to the destination. They're not going fast, but they get there and they get there quickly. A tourist will be erratic. They'll go really, really fast. And then they'll stop for a coffee. Really, really fast. And then their bag falls off. I need to go back and get it. Really, really fast. And then they can't order lunch, right? You see the difference? Uh, <laughs> that's the way it works. My advice is to really, really look at yourself and your organization and just are you this sort of person that goes round and round and round in circles and nothing gets done? If you're that person, it's going to take you forever to travel across Vietnam, so make your holiday plans appropriate for that. Or are you the person who's actually stripped down your luggage to a bare minimum? It takes you two minutes to get out of the door each day, put your shoes on stuff. If you're that person, you're actually going to cover a lot of kilometers. My final thing on this is, yes, on a big ADV bike like a CB500, you can do 400 kilometers in a day, even 500 kilometers. It is possible here but pointless and crazy. That is not traveling Vietnam, and I don't recommend it to anyone. 150 to 250 maximum. Hope you enjoyed this video, and hope it was helpful.